Hello, my name is FatTalk123, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Made our way back to the tiny Bronco off screen, like I said we would, but I uh, remember there's an enemy we could get a skill from, so we're going to go straight on with that. We need to manipulate him before he destroy, decides to destroy us all. Speed it up, just got away for Cloud's turn again. We have Death Force! <laughs> Which I believe increases your immunity towards death base attack. It won't stop you dying completely. And that counters a counter attack. God damn it, Clay. Uh, manipulate again. I think you can use it more than once. I'll soon find out. We only got red to go as well, anyway. I could have we had a third. Um, enemy skill material, but maybe not. I'll have to double check that. And yeah, apart from that, just go nuts, really. This guy likes to cast a lot of defensive spells on himself, if he gets a chance. And just likes to hit you with these little glowy light projectiles that explode. Nice bit of cash as well. Yeah, I could have sworn we had another enemy skill material. I might just go mad. Arrange! Arrange thyself, swine. I got it. Oh no, okay, maybe I haven't. I am losing my marbles. Cool, so yeah, now we've got Death Force, which I should definitely double check what it actually does. Is it gonna let me? Oh yeah, check. Enemy skill. Do -do -do -do. Makes one ally, ally immune to death. Obviously, you can still be knocked out via normal damage, otherwise it'd be broken as fuck, but yeah, any any instant kill spells like Death, I believe, Death Sentence, the one that counts down, anything like that, you could completely negate it, which is rather nice. But with that said, we need to continue on north to Bone Village. Hmm, that looks interesting. Because that is our next destination to go find out where the feck Eris went. I'm coming, my love! <laughs> Well, I prefer Tifa. But in terms of characters, that's probably what Cloud's saying. <laughs> It'd be cool if you could get some fights in the water. But then again, if Leviathan popped up, I might be slightly screwed. <laughs> oh, random encounter. I wonder who it is. Oh, fuck. Right, we should be able to find someone to stop off around under. Yeah, there we go. Lovely, lovely. I believe this is the last we're going to be seeing a tiny Bronco, actually. But I think from this point on, we don't actually need it. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Bone Village, a town for nature lovers. What do you want? Where is the City of the Ancients? Do you know where Eris is? What are you doing? Where is City of the Ancients? City of the Ancients? Ah, oh, it must be in the Forgotten Sea. Is that all you got on that one? Alright. Do you know where Eris is? Talk about that girl? I warned her, but she went to the sleeping forest anyway. What are you doing? Excavate is great. It's like a history of the planet told in the land. Right, okay. The lunar harp is somewhere in the ground here. We can excavate it if we want to. I want to buy something. See what you got in store. Ooh, diamond mangles. Okay. I'll get three of those. I don't know what... Ah, okay, double. Uh, might come in quite useful down the down the line for materia grinding. But yeah, when I was running back to the tiny Bronco off screen, the only thing that really happened was got a few fights, leveled up everyone at least once, I think, who's in the current party. And apart from that, nothing really really happened. Got a few more X potions, which was nice. I might get a few of these just in case. Uh, yeah, got plenty of Phoenix Downs, High Potions. How much would it cost? Tempting. Um, <laughs> uh, I probably don't need four slots anymore, I wouldn't four. Quicksilver I don't need, because what's high in damage, it doesn't have any materials slots. Uh, how much does that sell for? Yeah, I'm not really going to use Sid anyway. 
Oh, and I'll also put the ribbon onto red. Just for the pure fact that since he's the one that's eventually going to have a sooner, I kind of want him to be able to resist the status elements. I need him to heal, if that makes sense. So, Can I talk to this lady? No. Just kind of want to talk to everyone before I get on with the mini game here. You can wake in the sleep of the forest if you have the Lunar Harp. Once awake, they say the forest will open a road for you. Go on, Pinku just went in, use a Lunar Harp to get through. Oh, a Lunar Harp! I have to die in the tent below. Well, there you go. We use the newest system to find buried treasure. We use bombs to make earthquakes, you know, and then check the sound waves given off by the tremors. You know, I could probably get Titan to do that for you. Excavating is a slow process. The treasures we excavate are stored in the box next to the tent. Remember that. The forest is just beyond here. It's called the sleeping forest. Right now the forest is asleep. Anyone who wanders in while it's asleep gets confused. It could go in, but it may never come out. Just now. A girl in pink and a man in a black cape went in. You think they'll be alright? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> That's definitely not a dangerous thing. Right, yeah, so let's go talk to the guy down there. We need to play a mini game. Start digging. Other than Lunar Harp, where's got to dig for? I want the Lunar Harp, please. Alright. Then I'll lend you some of my staff. Show us where you want us to dig. Press X set staff in position. So I think you get a maximum of five staff members. All the research. And you get to dot them around in random locations. Spread them out nicely. Uh, I can't remember if the Lunar Harp's always consistent in where it lands. But yeah, once the bombs go off, they're all going to turn and face towards wherever the treasure is. You basically need to try and sort of make an invisible cross. <laughs> you know how they say they don't cross the streams and Ghostbusters do cross the streams? You need to try and find where all the line sites meet up in the middle, basically. I'm trying to explain it the best I can. Go on, get your ass up here. Press X to ignite the bomb for the search. <laughs> Yeah, no. Staff members will calculate the tremors and dig up the buried item. Dig points where this la staff's line of vision meets. Ooh, that's awkward. Is it right in front of this guy? Move dig point, press X. Staff will dig for the item. You gonna let me do it? Oh, right. Okay. I want to say there. <laughs> it's right underneath you, buddy. Get your shovel out. Uh, please say it's successful. God damn it. I say, make a tit of me. <laughs> Is that a perfectly fine by myself? Thank you. Oy vey. Like that's pretty accurate. <sighs> you know, Eris could be dead right now. <laughs> Do your jobs! Frick! <laughs> right, I'll be back in a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Thankfully, that was on the third attempt. We're now in the sleeping forest, which if we didn't have the Lunar Harp, we'd be a bit knackered, basically. <laughs> but since we do... Cloud blacks out. The sleeping forest awoke. And there is a materia here. Kajata. Which is not only a multi-elemental materia, so it does a lot of different elements for damage, um, I believe if you put on your elemental material, it also applies fire, fire, ice, lightning, and earth to either your attack or your defense. 
that's rather nice. Uh, I kind of want to show off the Jarta. I suppose I don't really need that at the moment. That's quite good for the giant turtle enemies where we got Death Horse from, but yeah. I'm going to book a Jarta though. Cool, carry on. These little materials that you can miss if you're not really looking. Or if you're just trying to zip on by. Yeah, what's in here? Water ring. Yeah, we're gonna need that. Yeah. I was gonna say spoilers or foreshadowing. Quite a useful item to have. Do not get rid of it. I need to decide who's gonna wear it when we get to the next boss fight. But, uh, power wrestle talisman. Spirit plus ten. Strength plus ten. Uh, I can imagine your magic defense isn't too bad actually, so... And you are a healer, so it'd be good to keep you alive. Oh, hi! <laughs> what we got in here? Oh, uh, horsies! Not very friendly horsies, but horsies! Yeah, uh, let's use try. I imagine that'll do a bit of damage. Ah, oh, you blinded them! <laughs> it's not very friendly. Oh, red. Fuck him up. <laughs> That's the way to do it. <laughs> I really need to find out other enemy skill material. Dazers! Sounds like a friendly item to have. God damn it. I forget what these things could do, but I know it's something weird. I think they could, st I think they could steal your money or your items. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> what if I steal from you? Tell you like it. Nothing to steal. Well, balls to you then. <laughs> But thankfully a ribbon done its job. Cloud's now mini, so all physical attacks are gonna do one damage. That's fine. <laughs> mini Cloud! Look him. Mini just adorable. <laughs> imagine that imagine just charges that Sephir off like that. <laughs> I'll take out your shins, I will. Okay, got a very random little bit of um world map here. I think this is because they want you to have a chance to save and heal up if you need to. So we've got a rather major area of the game coming up. And... Welcome to the Forgotten City, or the City of the Ancients, or whatever you want to call it. There's quite a few little things around, if I remember correctly, in terms of treasures. <laughs> and Eris is meant to be around here somewhere. You're gonna let me. There we go. <laughs> Depth perception has never been Cloud's strong suit. Um. <laughs> Magic source. Ooh. Yeah, I could probably give that to Vincent, actually. I know I normally just whack everything on Cloud, but since this is Vincent is gonna be here to stay in the party, I feel like it is um, justifiable. Okay, that's the back entrance. Let's head on over. Ooh. Aurora armlet. Oh yeah. Yo, know, I completely forgot you even bought the fucking things. Drains cold attacks. Interesting. It's got quite a bit of defense on it as well. Diamond bangle. Got the next material slot, but this one's got a lot of defense on it. Which I'll probably give to red eye, actually. Magic defense is nice as well. Hey, he's got that one there, isn't he? Okay, Aurora Armour for red, and I'll give you a Diamond Bangle. Seems you're meant to be more on attack than anything. Uh, let's have a look. Have I got anything worth putting added effect with? I think gravity would be a good choice. 
Sleep in silence? That might be worthwhile. I think I really need still at the moment, do I? Wonder if added effect works with the barrier. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's try that. Ah, oh, so I was going to make it immune to sleep, isn't it? Which is just as good to be fair. I'm not going to argue with it. Apparently, okay, I, need, I think I need to get back around, so... Mean. <laughs> when you're supersonic racing... To the right is where we're meant to go. Also, the next building. Uh, could have also sworn there's a materia around here somewhere. Guard source. That would be good for Red since he's got the cover material. He might be our tanky unit, so you have that. Good sir. Maybe I'm thinking in a while. I might just be jumping ahead a little bit further in the game in my brain. <laughs> Not by much, but... Elixir! Ooh, very nice. Look, there's a bed here. Maybe we should take a short nap. Yeah, why not? It's not like Eris is about to die. It's not like Sephiroth's just lurker. He could shank us in our sleep. <laughs> I feel it. I need a ship. What's wrong? Are you sick? Eris is here. And so is Sephiroth. What? Sephiroth's here too? How did you find that out? It's not an excuse. I feel it myself. What should we do? We must hurry to her. Right. Let's hurry up and find Eris. Ah, hello. Enemy skill material. Mine! Uh, I really need it on you because I need it actually learning ship. Uh, you know, I don't think I actually need it all on revive for the time being. I could probably survive without it. Famous last words, but... Bit odd the save points all the way on the other side of the map, but what can you do, eh? Hmm, interesting. Can't do anything with it, but interesting. I'm just gonna run back to the save point very quickly. Just cover all bases. There's his voice coming from there. That's nice. <laughs> Make sure everyone's geared up. We do have a um it's normally a boss fight that does give me a bit of trouble, hence why I said put the water ring on the swell. Because while the boss can hit hard, it does have a couple of water base attacks. So as long as it does that every now and then, Vincent should be immortal. I hope. <laughs> Famous last words is but <laughs> see how it goes. Go on, go. Go, go, go. By the time we get there, we'll be out of breath. Ooh, that looks fancy. 